Hello students. Today we are going to start off by making a diagnostic test on page 21 of your Bridge book. Wait one moment, please. All right. So it says on your book, please turn to page 21 in your book. This is a diagnostic test. It will show you the English you already know. It's okay to make mistakes. That's how you find out where you need more practice. Have to have students work on diagnostic tests for about 15 minutes. So I will show you guys your diagnostic test in this case. Give me a moment, please. Excellent. So here it goes. So this is the diagnostic test that is on page number 21 of your book. It says on this diagnostic test, number one, circle the correct words to complete the sentences. Number one, were they checking their homework in the class this morning or were they check their homework in the class this morning? I will go ahead and double check and it's double. Were they checking their homework in the class this morning would be the correct answer. So by the same way, you need to go ahead and answer number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six of this diagnostic test. Once you get to part number two of the diagnostic test, it says match the questions with the answers. Did you like the movie? Not really, it was boring. So you're going to go ahead and mark F here on your diagnostic test. So you can go ahead and write that answer. What was she doing at lunchtime? Uh, she was talking to her friends. That would be the correct answer. So for number two, it would be H. Correct? For number three, it says circle the words to complete the sentences. David ate three bananas this morning or David ate three bananas this morning. I would think the correct answer is ate three bananas this morning. So the same way you're going to go ahead and write the rest of the questions. One through nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. Go ahead and write the correct answer, please. Once you finish with page 21, we are going to go ahead and turn your book to page 22. Lesson number one, I feel terrible. So this is page number 22 of your book. Lesson number one, I feel terrible. It says learning objectives. I can describe my feelings in a past situation, vocabulary, Irregular verb review, grammar, simple past review. Reading emotions. Read and underline three things that makes our emotions. So you're going to go ahead and read this text. Once you figure out what makes our emotions, you're going to go ahead and underline this. So a subjective experience would be an emotion or something that makes our emotions, right? So that'll be the first example. On part number two, it says vocabulary, irregular verb review. Study the, parent, the patterns of the verb on the left, then complete the list of verbs on the right. It says, number one, put, put, cost, cost. No, new, grow, grew. So you're gonna hold, go ahead and write grow with an E, with an E like this one. So it'll be grew. Swim, swam, drink, drank with an A, with an A, right? So that's the pattern that it has right here for number two on page number 22. That's what you need to do. You need to finish one through eight. Finish the page and turn to page number 23. Says lesson number one, grammar. Simple past reviews. 
Was he happy at the game? Yes, he was, or no, he wasn't. Did you finish the project? Yes, he did, or no, we didn't. Were we, were we, where were you, where were you yesterday? I was at home. Where were you yesterday? I was at home. How did you feel after the test? I feel happy. I didn't feel well. Where did she buy her phone? She bought it online. Where did she buy her phone? She bought it online. So write the simple past form of the verb in parentheses. Says, hi Miguel, what did you do this weekend? Not much. I was sick, so I was sleeping a lot. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did you do anything interesting? Yes, I took a trip outside the city with my sister. Oh, I didn't know you had a sister. Where did you go? We went to a festival in my grandma's hometown. How did you get there? We got there by bus. Well, continuing with page number 23, we are gonna do page number 23, part number four. It says writing, bad experiences. In bad experiences, we are going to go ahead and circle the incorrect words in the paragraph. Says the instructions, read and circle seven mistakes in the paragraph, rewrite the paragraph. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer para la página número 23? La parte número 4A. Dice, lee y circula los siete errores que hay en el párrafo. Reescribe el párrafo una vez que estén corregidos los errores. Entonces, para la parte número 23, en la parte de abajo, es lo que vamos a hacer. 